How you doing? It's LA up in there again. Finna do another reading, but this time I'm doing Capricorns. I'm doing my Capricorns from the uh, 14th, 15th, 16th of November, 2020. So I hope you are ready for some, some little bit. Let's do it. Cause I got to, I use uh, Miss Cleo. I love these cards. Oh my God, I love them. I just wanna let y'all know, it's gonna get hot and juicy in here. Okay, and uh, y'all like, share, and subscribe. I really would appreciate it. I need all the help I get when you put likes and more people, you know, can see me. You know, this takes a lot for me to do, but I'm gonna do it because my light's back on. So I'm happy because my light's been off and I'm so excited. I got lights and we got lights. It's red again. So here we go. First of all, we're gonna start out with the 15th. And basically, I'm doing an overview with all this. It's getting to to the to the nickel. You got the seven of staffs. You just anticipating. You're sitting over there anticipating where you want to go, what you want to do. You got your guards up. You but you're protecting somebody because you got your defenses up, boy. You defensive. Somebody to piss you off, and you like, no, you ain't coming in my house and messing up. So you just uh, basically on the defense and you're taking your house and you ain't playing no games. No, I mean, no games. Then And then you also had the four swords on that day came up. You're sitting up here thinking, you're sitting there anticipating, well, in the reverse, well, you want to go back to school. You want, you got maybe some contracts you need to be make, could possibly sign. You know, you just really thinking where you could go, where you want to do next, because you're just in the, in, you're just up in about it, because uh, that's on the uh, 14th, you're just all up in, you're just trying to decide what you want to do, and then the 15th, you got here, you just, you you got the uh, eight of coins, and you're sitting there just trying to uh, finish projects, get new projects, because you want to make your coins, you all about your coins, see all them coins? You making them coins, you're like, oh, no, I'm not going to let nothing stop me. You got that ambitious, you got that soul, you got that, I'm going to do it. And what I see about the cards here, you're not playing, you're not playing them on the 15th. And then the 16th, you got the page of swords, you're standing your ground, you ain't, you're not falling off that cliff, you're standing there alert. You, you ain't, you done stopped and you see that cliff, you're not falling off of it. You just basically stand your ground, got the sword ready, got the, you see the birds in the tree. You got them ready with you too. You ain't playing. You just all in your thoughts of what to do. And then some of you on the 16th, you got the queen of coins. You got a, uh, a maiden coming your way. Someone that new coming around that you're gonna, uh, some of you single people are whatever, you know, you're gonna be meeting somebody that's got, uh, is either younger or older person, but they're gonna have, they're gonna seem older beyond their years, and they're gonna be real good with money, and they're gonna have uh, a lot of good caretaking skills and a lot of stuff with, that comes with them. They're gonna be able to take care of business, they're gonna be able to rock and roll and rock and roll. And then I pull the little extra cards. So here we go. Okay, let's get down right deep. Now we got the seven of cups. Okay, we have the Seven of Cups here. And the Seven of Cups, you're trying to reach. Um, you're trying to reach to get these cups. And you're trying to decide. You don't know which one you want. You don't know which place to go. You don't know what gift you want to do, what you want to do with your life. So you're just all in the air. You see how you're just holding up, trying to get to it. And you're in that puddle. Because you ain't got out of the puddle. Because you got too many directions that you want to go. You need to specifically pick one. And, and and try to go with it, but you need to concentrate and really pray about it and think about it and use your intuition and really your in, go into your inner self to make sure that's what you want to do. Because sometimes we get in the front of the morning, we just, oh, I want to do this. I want to climb to go to the moon. And you know what I'm saying? And the moon's right there, but everybody can't climb the moon, but that's what we want to do. Now, we got, also came up, what's the three of swords, okay? The Swiss swords in the upright could also mean uh, a betrayal in a relationship. It could be um, basically a affair, disloyalty, 
or other issues uh, about your relationship, work relationship, a business dealing, or it could be uh, on a positive note. You could get uh, a hard matter. You can be uh, confusion and, and it's banished. And you are now in position to begin to move from the shock to begin the healing process to move forward with your life. And then also this could mean in health wise, I hate to break it down to you. Some of you could be health wise. This could mean, and I'm not a doctor. Let's get that straight. I'm just reading what the cards say, and this is allegedly. So don't go hurt the messenger. Uh, basically it says that it could be related to your heart issues. You need attention, such as your blood pressure could be an issue, circulation problems, conditions, such as uh, agina, anemia, I mean, agina, I can't say it, and very occasional. May need surgery on some people. And please note this message to take care of your heart and safeguard health. It is it is not a prediction of a serious, serious illness. In other words, it just says you need to be a word rich. If you got high blood pressure, you need to get you some medicine. You need to take care of your blood pressure, take care of your all your heart because when the heart's gone, Mm, mm, mm. That's your ticker. You don't want to lose your ticker, cousin. Mm -mm. You want to be able to do things and don't be sitting in the bed. Then you're gonna have to keep your head, keep a straight line. Remember that you keep a straight line. Everything goes just like that, just like that, just like that. And that's what it is. And that's what it is. Okay, hold on. Um, I had it, but I lost it. Okay. Next, we got here, you got the moon card that came up. Basically, the moon card could mean you could be traveling somewhere. You could be planning to travel somewhere. Um, taking a vacation, getting away from all the, the the crap of the world. You just want to take a break and you want to say, I want to breathe. So, you want to planning in something. Some people may be going places, might be trying to take a vacation. Some of my Capricorns may be hitting the road. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, 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 more. Okay, now, the next week came up with the card. It was the Queen of Cups, but she was in the reverse. This card, let you say that this card in reverse means your finances can suffer. Money you related upon does roll funds, misappreciated. You may have to deal with impact of someone's financial mishaps, someone's mistakes. This is temporary. However, in addition to that your home is neglected while other concerns take over. As uh, the queen's stubbornness, you, you got that stubbornness. And she may mean with money or she's an extreme emotional slant, uh, spender or uh, her behavior is self-comfort or she uses money to buy other people's affection. You don't need to do that. You need to think about what you're buying. You ain't got to buy nobody. If you got to buy them, then you don't need them. Just put them that way. Let's get that straight. First of all, then you got the strength card came out. Need strength for something you're going through, something in your life. It could be something major. It could be something small to me, but you're going to need strength to deal with it. But whatever it is, you're going to handle it because you got it in you. You got it in you to take care of it. And you got the gifts and you got the power and you control the situation because look, you got him and you hold him down. You're like, oh, no, you ain't getting out of my hands. Then you got the Ten of Swords. That means you're going back in time and you're thinking about the past of all the hurts and the pains. You can't go back and fix to the, the past, but you can go forward. Say goodbye to mistakes. I did that. Yes. I have to change. Yes. I'm making it right. Yes. I'm doing better in my life. Yes, I'm not going back for backwards. It's only forwards. And that's what you need to do. Trick what other people are saying to you. Trick the backstab. Stop feeling that life is about pain all the time. People learn from mistakes. Mistakes are going to be there. We're here to learn from the past mistakes. And sometimes the past mistakes come back to heat us into Ask. But the thing we got to remember, there is people that do the same thing. Everybody's life path is different, Capricorn. 
You can't go back and fix what you've done in the past, but you can go forward and fix what you do in the future to make others or your family be successful. Don't let your past mistakes or your past pains or miseries be your family's misery because you can bring that in it. And when you do bring misery, you tear them down. You don't just tear, you tear down the whole family because you tore down. Let go of it. Put it back there. I done forgave myself for it. I done asked God to forgive me. To whoever you, God you serve, no disrespect to anybody. Everybody got their own God. But you go peace with that. Don't let past like I said before, hurt you, okay? And that's all I got to say to you, Capricorn, and I hope you enjoyed this message. And I thank y'all for joining me. Sorry I didn't do myself up because I ain't had time for all that because I just got my lights on and I'm so happy. And I want to tell y'all thank you for watching. I just wanted to make sure everybody good and tell y'all how. And remember, like this video so it can spread around and give it a chance so I can get out there. Thank y'all for joining me and God bless you. Peace.